Well, Vicki, I just got back from Fern Creek and it was, it was hot, but JCPS took extra precautions tonight to keep all the athletes healthy in that excessive heat. The district went beyond the playing field and sidelines as well to make sure everyone at the game stayed hydrated and safe as those kickoff temperatures stayed well into the 90s. I might be sweater than the football players. That's because Connor Holmes is the Fern Creek Tiger. During games this season, he'll be sweating it out inside this fuzzy suit. The mascot says on this night, he'll be drinking as much water as possible. It's really hot. There's a fan in here that doesn't even work. So last week, I was drenched at halftime when I took it off, and it just kept getting hotter, and it's like 10 times hotter this week. Fern Creek Athletic Director Troy Johnson has been preparing all week to host this high-temperature game. Johnson says he's ready for any contingency. If it's a spectator, if it's a cheerleader, a uh, band member, a parent, you know, we have something that in place that we know that we have to get water to them or ice to them. That's what we, we have a doctor on each sideline, and plus we have our certified trainers. Here's the ice tub back here behind the bleachers, and they'll put anyone in here who gets overheated. Players, coaches, even fans will get dunked in here, and I gotta tell you, we got some ice in here already. Pretty cool. In case somebody gets heat, we can put them right inside the, uh, the ice tanks. Hopefully, none of the creek crazies will need that. This student spirit group has a plan to deal with metal bleachers. We're definitely keeping in the shade, definitely trying to stay hydrated. Um, we got concession stands stacked with drinks and Gatorade that and we're just happy to be out here, just supporting the school. While most were dreading a scorching kickoff, this Fern Creek tuba player says, hey, it won't be that bad. Nice and hydrated, nobody's gonna be, be hydrated, not gonna be too hot, you know, especially because there's a little breeze coming on. It's gonna be pretty nice, pretty nice. And hopefully this will be the only high school football heat story we do this season. Next Friday night, temperatures are forecast in the 80s. So Vicki, we're moving in the right direction. Reporting live in studio, Randall Cam, WOKY News.